Joshua 4, 7a. Va'amartem lachem asher nikhratu me me hayardain mi pane aron barit hashem. We're in the middle of a speech act of Joshua where he is explaining how to answer when the younger generation asks, What are these stones for? And you will say to them that uh, the waters of the Jordan, they were cut off from before the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord. The verb va'amartem, this comes from aleph, mem, resh, and in this case, we have a kal, vav, consecutive, perfect, 3cp. And you will say, nichratu, this comes from kaf, resh, tav, and this is in a nifal form, uh, nifal stem, excuse me. Uh, there's the noon prefix that shows the theme letter. This is perfect, 3cp. And the subject being spelled out, the waters of the Jordan. They were cut off. Biblical Hebrew narrative makes use of both direct and indirect speech. Now, direct speech often uh, will have a signal, not always, uh, lemor, le that is, the infinitive construct form of amar, which functions almost like quotation marks, and then we have embedded direct speech using the pronouns and everything of the uh, s said speaker. Indirect speech is when it, the narrator, or in this case a character, um, uses indirect speech to paraphrase or represent what someone else would say. And we can see that by the pronouns as well. So, for example, we have a verb of speech, amar, followed by assure. And this is one of the, assure is one of the indicators Another is key, uh, and there are some others as well, like definite direct object marker. But in any case, and you will say to them, that, and then it goes on to say uh, the beginning of the speech. So this is more of a paraphrase of the sort of thing that they will say when their uh, children ask them the meaning of these monuments.